you're watching a video in a series of tutorials to help you learn how to use Filmora 9, the fun to use, easy to learn video editor for all creators. By watching our tutorials, you can learn how to take your video from start to finish with Filmora 9. Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to look at the render button. We're also going to take a look at background rendering. Rendering is the process of calculating effects in a video editing program to produce the final output. When you place effects on your video, your computer has to process it. The more effects you're using, the more your computer will have to work. This is why if you have lots of effects on a clip, you may see your footage lagging. The render button can let your computer process the video you have in your timeline so you can view it smoothly while you edit. The render button can be one of the most useful tools to an editor so you can see how the video is going to look when it's playing smoothly. I have a video here in my timeline with a few different effects on it. If I want to watch it through smoothly, I'll have to render it first. The red line shows the unrendered segment. When we press the render button, you'll see this line turn to teal. Let's render the timeline. I'll move over to the right side of the screen and click the render button. The window that comes up will show you all of the frames that you're rendering. The time your video takes to render will depend on the speed of the system you're editing on. Now when we play it back, it will play smoothly. Let's look at settings for rendering now. By going to File and then Preferences, we can find the Performance menu on the far right. Background Rendering will perform the rendering automatically while you work on your video. By changing the time here, you can choose how long it takes for the automatic rendering to start. Background Render can be quite handy, but for some machines, the processing may cause a slowdown in the editor. In that case, disable background render and press the render button on the timeline when you need it. Preview renders have to be stored somewhere on your computer. By clicking Browse, you can choose where to keep those files. By checking this box here, you can choose to have Filmora delete those files when you close the program. If you chose to have them kept, then when you come back to your project, you will be able to see your video run smoothly. If you delete them, you will have to render again. The clean button will clear the folder of your render previews. If your computer's low on disk space, it might be a good idea to clean it out. When you drag something into your video, the red line will indicate the part of your video that has updated in the project. If your video isn't playing smoothly, you can press the render button. Or, if background rendering is on, Filmora will automatically render the red segment when you pause working for the amount of time you set in preferences. And that's about it. Now you know how to use the render button. Thanks for watching. Check out some of our other tutorials to learn how to take your videos from start to finish with Filmora 9.